Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be checking out how you can take parameters from any plugin and include those as part of your track structure. In other words, if we take a look at the tracks on the left hand side, you can see on a couple of guitar tracks, I've got the gain on there and I've got its own dedicated controller. So I'm going to show you how you can add those, what they're used for, and how they can really speed up the process of saving you going back and forth into the various different plugins you may have included on specific tracks. So let's check all that out right now. So what exactly does this do when we can put these parameters onto the track itself? Well, as I said in the opening, if you take a look at the left-hand side, we can see all the tracks. You can see I've got a couple of different tracks that are opened up, and you can see I've got gain placed on there. Now, what that relates to is the gain control inside a specific plugin. So instead of me having to open up that plugin every time I want to make a tweak to the gain, I can insert that, as an example, into my track layout. So let's take a look at how we do that. All I need to do is open up my effects panel, and you can see for this example, I've got an instance of Easy Mix installed. And what I've got on there is I've got gain as one of the options and EQ as one of the other options that I can control. Now, this is a very simple parameter setup because Easy Mix doesn't really have a huge amount of parameters you can change. But obviously, if you're using things like Bias Effects or Bias Amp or a lot of other different plugins for any kind of thing you can use in Reaper, you can easily go in and you can map those out to the specific track. So, how do we do that? Pretty straightforward, to be honest. If we come up to the param option on the top right-hand side of any of the windows that we are dealing with in Reaper with the effects, we can click on there, and we can then come down, and you can see we've got a whole range of options. And if we come down to FX Parameter List, you can see that gives us even more options. So you can see we've got Show Tracking Controls, and at the moment we've got Gain Checked, which is exactly what you can see on the specific guitar track. So I could, if I wanted to, come down and use Shape 2, for example. So once I do that, you can see that now adds Shape 2 as one of the parameters. Now, Shape 2 doesn't really mean anything at all. So I can right-click on that, and what I can do is I can set up an alias on that. So if I click on there, what happens is it brings up this little dialog box. If you don't see that, you may find that your... VST is just obscuring the window, so just close that down. You can see Shape 2, like I say, doesn't really mean anything. So what I could do is put Easy EQ. So now that makes a lot more sense. So that gives me control of the EQ option that's part of my plugin. So if we come back in again, open up the VSTs, and you can see we've got gain in there. So if I make an alteration to the, sorry, the EQ inside the plugin itself, if you look over on the left-hand side, you can see that that little uh, dial will adjust in exactly the same way as it does inside the plugin. Alternatively, if I come to the plugin itself, sorry, if I come to the track controller itself, you can see as I adjust that, the plugin adjusts as well. So like I say, now this is pretty simple when you're dealing with something like Easy Mix because there's not a lot of parameters on there, but if you've got a much more complicated track layout with many different VSTs and plugins on there, there's going to be certain things you're going to want to tweak, and it just makes it so much quicker and easier to be able to do it via this method than having to go back and forth, back and forth to the VST itself. Now, that's all pretty cool, but you can also do some other things. Now, we can control this, as always, by just taking our mouse over this, and we can use the scroll wheel without clicking, and you can see that will adjust the setting on there. If I want to, I can just come onto it, and I can click and drag and hold it. And you can see that will adjust it in exactly the same way as any of the other controllers will adjust inside Reaper. But what we can also do is we can right click on this and you can see we can deal with Learn. So we click on that. You can see that now gives us the ability to use a MIDI controller, any kind of control surface or a keyboard that has mappable controls on it. We can easily enable that so we can now map that to a specific section of our control surface. And all you need to do is, once you've got that set up, is press or twist or slide or whatever it is that you're dealing with on the control surface, and that will automatically map that up to the particular effect that you're dealing with. Now, obviously, when you're dealing with something like this, you have to make sure you've got the right track selected, etc., etc., etc. But it's a very quick way, especially if you, you have a, a decent control surface with a lot of controls on it, you could very quickly and easily map these out, and then you could just tweak and adjust to get exactly the tone you want by using that. And you've got a visual representation on screen all the time with the track that you're currently working with.
So I've got to be honest, I find that really, really useful when I'm dealing with tracks and I want to tweak certain parameters. I don't want to have to go back and forth into that plugin to make those changes. Well, that's how easy it is to add those different parameters to a track, which you can then visually adjust, keyboard adjust, mouse adjust, or use a control surface to adjust using MIDI Learn. Well, I hope this is something that you'll find useful when you're working with your recording sessions in Reaper. If you did find it useful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, happy mixing.